Hi everyone, it's Julie from SproutsAndStems.com here. In today's video, I've got a little plant chore, a little propagation chore. I've got this beautiful pitcher plant and it has some babies that I believe are at the point where they need to be removed from the mother plant so we can give the mother plant back some of her energy because she's not putting out any new pitchers at all. This will be my first time propagating a pitcher plant in any way. Hopefully I am successful. So please subscribe to my channel for more planty content and we will get right into the video. Okay, so first thing is first, we have some dried sphagnum moss here, which is what I'm going to put the babies in. We're going to get it damp with some distilled water because carnivorous plants do not want tap water. All right, this is good. We don't want it sopping wet. It shouldn't be dripping. It's just like damp right now. Okay, so first I just wanna give you a good shot of what's going on. So this is the main, this is the mother plant right here, this vine. And it goes up. And this one is separate, but I can't quite tell if it's attached under the soil or just above. Um, and then there are some other things going on. It looks like maybe a few little babies. I can't tell how many separate babies there are. I don't know if I'm going to take all of them today, but uh, definitely going to take this big one. So that one baby, the bigger one is bigger than I thought. So I don't know if you can see, but this, there's one baby right here. And so one I'm, I've been uh, talking about, and there's another baby, the one that's moving right now, right there, and that's a little bit smaller, and that's all I can see for now, and that's what I'm going to work with. So this is for sure a tight situation in here. I'm just going to try to dig a little around that stem just to try to get a little further down. I do see where it's attached to the main one. It's not connected by like an underground root. It is connected from the very, very, very base of the stem. I'm gonna try to bring you in closer. This is the main stem right here. You can see it goes up like that. And then this is that baby right here. And it's attached to the main stem, literally right below where I put my chopstick in between them. So. Okay, can you not? Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. I'm just going to snip right, there's a little tiny um, node right here. It's hard for me to see just normally, so I know on camera you're not gonna see it. Um, but there's a little tiny node and a leaf, and I'm going to try to snip just right underneath that. Okay. Okay. This one is a little bit tangled. Okay, all right, let's stick that in here for now. And main stem is still uh, A-OK. -okay. And now we can definitely see what's going on in here. All right, is this one plant? Or is this 
two plants? That is the question. So this is, this right here is another little separate plant, which I don't think I'm gonna to take today because the biggest picture is still pretty small. Everything else is one plant. So this is one, and then this is one, and then the main stem. So there were three babies. Oh wait, is this? Oh. No, this is, oh my goodness gracious, okay. There are three in here. Can you see that? One, two, three, and then the main stem. Interesting. All right, pause to strategize. Okay, I'm going to take one more because even though it only has one picture, it looks like it's a little bit further along than the other ones and I can see where it's coming from. Same exact situation, it's attached right at the base. Come on. Okay, good. Look at that. Okay. And I'm gonna leave these on for now because they were the two smallest ones. And even though this one had a decent sized pitcher, it's just, uh, see there's one plant there, one plant there. Um, it just, it looks really tiny. And I think just having this little bit of extra space, the mother plant is gonna be happy. So, all right, I'm going to hang the mother plant back up and uh, I'll be back to deal with these guys. And now we have these two beautiful, this one's a little small, but I still have hope. And again, this is the first time I've like uh, separated babies from a pitcher plant. So it might be totally fine and I might be worried for nothing, but this one I have high hopes for. So just going to take a bundle which remember is damp and gonna kind of cradle it. And we're going with purple today. That is, that is that. A little bit more just around the top. Baby numero dos. And these are definitely going in the greenhouse cabinet where there's nice bright light and humidity where my other baby pictures are. And the mother plant will go in the greenhouse cabinet soon actually because there's just not enough light in my bedroom where I have her right now. And I just know she'll be so much happier in the greenhouse cabinet. So I'm going to be redoing my greenhouse cabinet in my next video, I believe. And uh, she'll be going in there when I do that. So that is it for today. Got these two awesome babies. I'm going to fill, actually, I'll just do it right now. This one is the only open pitcher and it had some liquid in it that I think I spilled out. Gotta stop doing that. So I just have this little uh, thing that I use to take up some distilled water. And then you just squeeze it. Just a little. Probably gonna go everywhere because the opening is small. That's okay. Just need a little bit. And there we go. Okay, so now we're done. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this little plant chore. 
wasn't much of a tutorial because it was my first time doing it, but um, I look forward to letting you know how it's going in a future plant update. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new planty content. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.